everyone, and welcome to another Monday, Monday motivation. motivation. I'm your host, Daniel Krakowski, joined, as always, by Gorn Vazovich. What's happening, everybody? And what's today, up, Daniel? Well, what's up is we have we hashtag a, intern Isaac. Yep, St. Thomas Tommy. Yep. Shows up first alphabetically anywhere he goes because of the hashtag. That's important. It is. He is always first in line for everything. Although, I don't know how I feel about him wearing, uh, uh, you know, that shirt. My St. Thomas gear. He right. represent. Yeah, where's What's the wrong? VSM gear? <laughs> I said, uh, first thing you put it on the story, you're like, why is this not VSM? And you're like, I was like, well, you got to buy some and I'll wear it. <clears throat> well, I thought you wanted to design it. That was the whole point of you coming and doing this I mean, social this media. Is, this is a sharp, sharp shirt. Sharp, sharp shirt. Sharp, 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 sharp. 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 Yeah, oh, it looks good. It's a good polo. It is a good polo. You know, St. So, Thomas, they got that private money. They do. <clears throat> I know. So today, the... We, How are we, you we, doing, Daniel? I'm doing okay. It's been an eventful week, I think, for, I, I for think so, so many people at just, BSM. I was you know, just right? going to say that. I was like, <laughs> how do we talk about Monday motivation, considering everything that has been happen- that's happened here? <laughs> uh, it's been a crazy week. I don't think anyone at, in the entire company hasn't been affected by something in some some degree or another. Um, you're right. sick, <laughs> right? I, well, yeah. I just got over my sickness, but it didn't really it, it didn't slow me down a lot. Sure I didn't. still, you know, was here every day and this and that. I took some medicine. Now I'm all better. Uh, <clears throat> maybe not all better, but 99% better. The only person smelling like roses coming out to this week is is intern Isaac. I uh, know, man. He, <laughs> well, actually, no. He's got a little boo-boo on his uh, face right there. What is yeah. that from? So... Dario asked me, he's like, oh, did you get punched in the face this weekend? And I'm like, uh, no, it was ac- it was a coaster. <laughs> it was a coaster, coaster accident? No, my friend like lobbed a coaster and it just, it nicked me. It nicked you? And it Man. was like a wooden, like engraved one. Well, That's the hard life that people live out there in Farmington. I know, um, man. Whew, I feel like, for you. I think the audience feels for you too. We just well. got back from LA and I, it feels just like South Central. Uh, really? We were out in Farmington. Very similar. Just kind of kind of scary. <laughs> no. <laughs> Posters we, flying everywhere. It's like a drive-by. <laughs> right, it's a right. Nice, it's a nice town. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Well, yes, it, it is. 100%. So, a, like a, a, Yeah. So I, I want to tie this in now. So yeah. a lot of the, the difficult, because I've been working with a lot of our agents who have been having difficulties as well and trying to come up with solutions that work. And the big thing that's killing everybody or that kind of seeped in a little bit this week was was indecision. So, you know, the the goal is to act very decisively and act early. Decisive uh, and quickly. And strike like a cobra. Yeah, I think a lot of times people are in positions where they, you know, we'll use a relationship because that's something everyone can relate to. Yes. You're in your relationship and you can see that, you know, it's probably not going to work out. You don't see it going super long term with that person. But... It's kind of easy just to let it continue and, and roll on. Um, you know, if if that's where you're at in your life, that's great. Right. But if you're looking for some sort of long-term commitment, you're just doing yourself a disservice because... By prolonging it. Yeah. No, you know, you're as good looking right now as you'll ever be. You're not getting well, better. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, but in general, it's it's true for most people. Um, just like your your business acumen, it's you're not going to be sharper. You'll, you can have be more experienced but you're not going to have more potential so you need to start learning and enacting your plan immediately right so uh, what you're saying is it's basically all downhill from here it's all downhill <laughs> it's from all... here guys no but... right uh, I 100% agree and yes it's been a crazy week uh, which happens and I think for me personally you know I think we're all everyone is affected in some way or fashion or form, but uh, knowing that you're gonna have those days and weeks, I think for me prepares me for like, hey, it's, it's just that time of whatever the year or the, the week or this, so I'm not really gonna, I'm just gonna know that it's gonna be here, that it's going to pass, and then uh, everyone's gonna move on and things are gonna be better, so I don't dwell too much on it, because the more you dwell on it, I think the problem just becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. Right. I think a lot of us are emotionally like toddlers where yep. we need, you know, any surprise to us is uh, now I'm going to throw a tantrum. I'm going to complain. You know, if, if you're telling a, a four year old to go to bed, I think we've used this example in the past. But right. if you go, hey, it's bedtime, there's going to be a problem. If you say 30 minutes from now, we're going to go to bed. OK, 30 minutes from now, you put them to bed. 
it, I mean, it's not a, a surefire strategy, but it's definitely going to make it a little bit easier to get what you want out of the situation. Right. Yeah. No. And, so, and, and also to add to that, I mm-hmm. think, uh, when, especially when it comes to uh, like an emotional aspect of your response, typically the first thing that comes to your mind or your first reaction is usually the wrong one or the one that you don't want to go with. Right. So it's very important to kind of be the most cool that you can be in those times. Right. And, you know, in that same vein, though, it it goes to what you're saying uh, earlier about, you know, you know that there's going to be some tough times always. It's just inevitable in life. Put in your calendar as as an ongoing event. (laughs) But you do the same thing, right, for yourself. Like you, you know, you're you're telling your four-year-old to go to bed. If you can forecast and look to the future a little bit and see the things that could potentially go wrong, when they go wrong, they're not going to surprise you and it's not going to invoke the same emotional response from you. It's going to allow you to be objective and I think it's definitely good to plan. I know. Right. And and also sometimes when you when you know that those things are going to happen, you naturally think of, OK, how am how am I going to deal with them as they come? So when they do come, your the solution is may already be there or you, you're prepared for. It, so you get to, you know, deal with it, resolve it and move on, too. So it gives you that uh, time to prepare, if you will. Yeah. And in this business, there's a lot of times where. The, the pros and the cons are pretty close. Um, you know, should I cancel this deal or should I buy it? Oh man, I don't know. There's right. this risk, but there's also this potential reward. What should I do? It's it's very close. Um, I think if you've considered all the factors, if you have any inclination one way or the other, you need to make that decision and act decisively, quickly, and not look back, because at that point you're committed. Right, and and specifically to to that perspective, you know, going to real estate deal, it's funny, because I think I myself included in one of our uh, properties, uh, it was sold just like a few other, of our other agents had properties sold, but then it all fell apart. Mm-hmm. Um, and in my situation, when it did fall apart, I was like, hey, no problem, let's go, and I just kept moving forward. Because I know really, it, in sales, you know, one is, you know, two is one, one is none. Right. And that's why I'm like, you know what? I There's nothing more that you can do. You just gotta move forward. Even if you think it's a sure thing, and it doesn't happen to be, no big deal. There's no point in trying to see of all the things that could, that you could have done. Right because it's not going to really help you. You just got to move forward. Absolutely. And, and speaking of acting quickly and decisively, uh, Isaac, yes. how long did it take you to get your real estate license? Um, so we were thinking about it in June, probably right as I got out of school. But then once I signed up for my classes, I did all 90 hours, studied for the tests, read a book, and got Shadow my Shadow lic- Daniel. Shadow Daniel. Uh, what book? Like A Tale of Two Cities? Just um, <laughs> no. I read. I'm. I'm. Uh, it's called My First Year in Real Estate. Perfect. And then um, I got. I did all that. Got my license registered all within 18 days. There Just, you go. I know this guy, 18 years old, crushing it. He's an intern. I'm gonna give him some, you know, props right now because I he knows that I don't give him any props ever. <laughs> but here we go on air. He has his real estate license. He's active. He's ready to go. Doing a first open house for us uh, this Sunday, and he's also a co-listing agent. All of my listings. So he's got like a few million dollars worth of listings right now, which. I mean, this guy is just killing it, but he's actually doing the work. He's, you know, he's going to be interacting with potential um, buyers. He's going to be uh, interacting with uh, agents. He's going to be hosting the open houses, doing the flyers, etc. So he's going to get his he's going to get his feet wet. But on top of that, this guy is crushing on every level. He went and also had a job interview with Bridgewater Bank. Our really good friends there, and I told him you should always explore any and all opportunities. And bam, he got an offer letter. So now he has this opportunity to work for such a great bank, has an opportunity to work with such a great real estate company and plug get a really good education and this right. kid is only 18 i mean when he's 22 i expect this guy's gonna i'm like hey papa you don't have to work no more here's a check for <laughs> a billion dollars because he's already made it are you are you the papa in this I, equation I think i'm the papa okay <laughs> yeah, the, the, the 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 paperwork for adoptions i think coming through this week got it wow. 18, <laughs> sorry, eight, sorry tim 18 years old is a good time to adopt it's a lot no, of, but i mean more upside than downside really i think he's made a huge leap 
forward and just by, you know, taking action. And I think decisive a lot decisive action, decisive action. A lot of people just to do what he has done in just a couple of months will take a couple of years. Uh, and the best time to do it is really now when you're young, when you don't have all those headaches and the baggage of, you know, of life that yeah. slow you down. So get out there, especially if you're crushing in or you want to start crushing in your, in your teens, you're, you know, a young adult or whatnot, this is the best way to do it. So, yeah. And I, I'm taking a, a page out of Isaac's book in a sense and uh, really just switching and, and changing a large part of my focus into commercial real estate. Well, we'll before you get into that, yeah. just to, uh, so last week when we did the, um, the Monday motivation, uh, you were just about to go to your um, commercial, academy. commercial academy in LA. It was a four day course. You and Ryan went and you were super excited. You didn't know much about it, but you're like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do it and see what this is all about. So now that you're back, you got a, this whole new energy. You're jacked up. You're ready to go. So what did you learn? What did you like? What are you most excited about now that you know what you want to do? It's There's just infinite potential in that industry, in the commercial world, the, mm-hmm. the lack of so, so in the residential world, there's so much regulation because so many of the people who are participating in these transactions are so unsophisticated and, and you know, not, not saying that as a negative, but their knowledge of real estate is next to zero and their knowledge of investment is in the same, you know. World. And with that, that can, you know, make deals a lot longer than they, they, they need to be. And there's right. got a lot more regulation too. Yeah, and there's also a lower dollar value on every property. That in and of itself, it you know translates to, you know, f- for me, I'm at a point where if I can, if I'm doing 20 or 30 hours of work on a property, I have a return in my head that I can get based on what I've done historically. Uh-huh. And a lot of times in a, a transaction, you're not quite hitting that benchmark. In these larger transactions. It's more, it's more likely that you're going to be able to find that. So I'm looking forward to, you know, step one, before I want to take on and, and start investing anyone's money, yep. uh, I'm going to do one for myself. So I'm going to put only my money at risk. Um, and I'm going to do that as a proof of concept. Yep. I think I have a very good understanding of what I need to do, how this should work. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a great mentor in Rafiq. I have a great mentor in Ryan. Shout out to Rafiq. Shout out to Ryan. Um, but, you know, I, to me, it's, it's important that... I know I can say, okay, what I did last time was this. This is how I turned this building around and made 150K in six months or whatever yep. the situation is uh, before I start taking other people's money and trying to do it. Right. I think that's the responsible thing to do. Right. And, and I think, uh, you know, one of the catalysts for you exploring this, um, you know, commercial real, real estate, you know, was uh, the, the financial reward, of course, but then also wanting to grow and do bigger and better things, right? And that's it. I wanted to do bigger and better things. And I didn't want to wait until I hated what I was doing, like so many people do. I want, I saw, okay, this is where the, this is where the puck's going, the yep. Wayne Gretzky quote, right? Yep. And I just got ahead of it and said, I'm going to try and skip a couple steps of, of the burnout and the, you know, things that could negatively affect my reputation. Uh, I wanted to always feel like it's my first week at work. That's fantastic. And, you, and you're not kind of going from jumping from one thing to another after, you know, because right now, you know, residential real estate is really good. But now you're like, hey, I'm going to explore to see what else is there, or what it's going to be where it's not good. That kind of goes to your saying as far as going after the puck where it's going to be versus where it is. Right. So it's fantastic. I can't wait to see it. I know you're going to do huge things. Enormous. Enormous. Giant. (laughs) So, Isaac, thank you for being here. Thank you. You're an inspiration to us all. Uh, For real. Uh, These guys, (laughs) if if only now he can just make sure that Instagram stories are always there every single day. That's the most important. That's the plug. You guys got to follow us on Instagram. Yes. At BSM Real Estate. Oh, yeah. When we hit 10,000 followers, which would probably we, happen in what a week and a half two weeks we'll shave Isaac's um, head we're gonna shave Isaac's head no <laughs> no, I, 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 <laughs> no no that's it you heard it's, it it's recorded thanks for listening everyone we'll see you next week